Continue reading the Holy Gospel according to St. John with explanation by Blessed Philact. Chapter 6, verses 16 through 21. Continue reading explanation. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. He appears to them in the midst of the storm and by his word dispels their fear and calms the sea. He brings tranquility in two days, quieting the storm within their souls as well as the tempest upon the waves. But he doesn't get into the boat because he is about to perform a wonder even more astonishing than the first two. In all three miracles occur here. Christ walks upon the water, he steals the surging waves and he instantly puts the boat ashore at the point towards which they were headed although they were still far out to sea when the Lord came to them. When Moses led the Jews across the Red Sea, he accomplished the miracle as a servant who had prayed to God. Here Christ acts by his own authority. Moses held back the water by a south wind which blew. But Jesus performs a greater marvel. He kept the sea within the bounds of its own nature, yet made it carry its master upon its back that the prophecy might be fulfilled. He walketh upon the sea as it were dry land. Even now many of us are in spiritual darkness and in danger of drawing in the noetic sea. So let us receive Christ who will save us from all dangers. When others, be they demons or men, bring terrors and temptations upon us and strive to terrify us, uh, let us hear Christ shout, be not afraid, it is I. Every terror runs its course. Fear not that which passes away. The Lord comforts us. It is I, means I abide forever. Being God, I am He who is. Terror is temporary and has no true existence. But I am, I abide and never pass away. Indeed, I am existence and reality. Therefore, do not betray your faith in me in exchange for temporal gain. Note that Christ appears and dispels their fear when a danger <coughs> is in its very peak. He allows us to remain in the midst of the dangers, press hard and wrestling with affliction. affliction so that we may be tested and found valiant. After employing all our strength and wisdom and fighting this to be inactive, may we take refuge in him who alone is able to save when help is beyond hope. When our mind is exhausted, suddenly God saves us. Thus he teaches us to flee to him alone and not attribute our salvation to our own strength. If we invite Christ into our boat, it is into our heart immediately we will reach land. And what land might that be? None other than heaven, the promised land, land of the meek, where those free of all malice live together in peace. Chapter 6, verses 23 to 26. The day following, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there, save that one wherein his disciples were entered, and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat, but that his disciples were gone away alone, now bade there came other boats from Tiberias night into the place where they did eat bread. After that the Lord had given thanks. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also looked shipping and came to Capernaum, seeking for Jesus. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when came thou hither? Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, you seek me. Not because you saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves, and we were filled. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.